you guys, if you want to make 2024 the best year you have ever had, then watch this video. I'm going to be telling you my top tips on how you can better your life and just have a fun year. For me, 2023 was such an amazing year, so I really want to keep that up in 2024. If 2023 wasn't your best year, then this year will be. Hopefully these tips can just enhance your life a little bit. And if you try these things, hopefully it can help you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just get straight on into it. Number one is to not waste your time with people who don't make you feel the best. If you have some friends that just don't have your best interests at heart and people that you've just kind of like grown out of the friendship or anything like that, just don't surround yourself with people that don't make you feel the best. Because honestly, what's the point of that? We have one life, so just live it with people you have fun with and that you just love being around because there's no point in being with people you don't want to be with. Just don't put yourself through that. There's literally zero point. It doesn't help you in the long run or anyone else, so. Number two is to keep yourself busy. I find that if I'm not doing things, I can just get a bit bored and just be down if I'm not actually keeping myself busy. Like, go outside. Like, do things with your day. Otherwise, you're just going to be bored and there's no point spending another year doing the same thing you were doing last year. So you got to level up your life, you know? Find new friends. Try new things. Just keep yourself busy. I promise you'll feel so much better at the end of the day. And you sit in your bed and you think, I've had a great day doing things. Number three is to make monthly photo albums. You could just make these photo albums on your phone and then you can look back at them at the end of the month and just kind of reflect on your month. Or you could even go a step further and make a scrapbook of every month. I've done this for a Christmas present for Sadie and I also did it of my summer. I made a huge summer scrapbook and it's honestly so nice and it's such a fun like thing to do. So you can cut out all the pictures, watch some Netflix, stick it all in, make it all cute. It makes me feel like a kid again because I can just be creative, draw some stuff, like doodle, you know, it's really fun. So I recommend doing that if you have the time and it just makes you feel more positive about the next months when you look back and you realize how fun your month was. So yeah, that is a great tip. Number four is to declutter your room. You can even like switch up your room a bit, change where things are, just make it feel like a fresh start. New year space. Not only can you clean your room but you can also clean your devices. For example my laptop was really cluttered with loads of images I didn't need, files and things like that so if you just have a day, not even a day, it takes like 10 minutes, you can declutter all the things you don't need, clear up your storage, just make your life clean, get yourself together. <laughs> Number five is to try new things like new hobbies. I don't know, try something you've never tried before because you might love it and if you've always wanted to try something go and try it. This is your year to try new things. If you have fears of doing things like face your fears and go do it because afterwards you're going to feel so much better. Even do it with friends, make it a whole fun day activity. Number six is to get into a good routine. I cannot stress this one enough. When you're in a good routine, all the things that you think, like going to the gym, eating healthy, all this stuff, it may seem like difficult to do, but when you get into the routine of doing it, it's just habits. It's just like brushing your teeth because it's part of your routine. And once you get a good routine, you really just feel so much better. You know what you're doing. You know the times you have to do it. You're not being lazy and you're just being productive. A way to do this is to get a nice journal or there's apps like Notability. I use that on my laptop to plan out my video ideas and you can plan out your days, plan out what you're going to do, write a to-do list and stick to that routine every day and once you check it off your to-do list, you'll feel amazing. Number seven is to make a vision board. Set New Year's resolutions that are realistic and achievable. This video is probably going to be posted after New Year's, but it's better late than never to make resolutions. Like, don't set resolutions that are just so out of reach because there's literally no point if you're not going to achieve them and then you're just going to feel guilty about not achieving them. And then you're just going to quit and just give up. So a vision board can be a great way, even on your laptop, every time you open it, you see a vision board of what you want your life to look like. And then that can just be kind of your motivation and inspiration. Number eight. Stop the endless scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or any social media. You're literally lying if you say you haven't scrolled on TikTok for hours on end. You just start scrolling and then you see that like two hours have gone by and you're like, what happened to that two hours? And in that two hours, you could have been doing something a lot more productive. So yeah, a little tip is just to spend less time on your phone. Go out, like enjoy the year and don't waste half of it on your phone. There's a whole world outside of your phone screen. So go and live it. Obviously you can go on your phone, but just try going it less. This is definitely one I'm going to try and do because I feel like I'm on my phone too much. Maybe you could set a time like just in the morning you go on it and then maybe before you go to bed but try stay off it in the day or like when you're socializing with people because the worst thing is if you're on your phone at like a restaurant and I don't know someone's trying to speak to you and you're just on your phone you know it's just not the way to go so. Number nine focus on things that interest you. For example if going to the gym or running really interests you then put your work into that or doing YouTube really interests you put your work into what interests you. Don't just do things because your friends are doing them. Actually do things you want to do and work hard with them. And don't make excuses for yourself if you're not in the mood that day or you're tired. Just go and 
and do it because at the end of the day after doing that workout that run that schoolwork studying you're not going to regret it afterwards so just get it done and you'll feel so much better i know it is hard to push yourself but just think about the feeling afterwards it's so much better than not doing the thing you want to do <laughs> also work hard in school although not every subject will interest you still put 100 percent effort into all of your subjects and just try your best because at the end of the day if you get a bad grade but you've tried your best you're going to feel better than if you just didn't try at all so yeah and my last tip is to just have fun try not to worry too much and just make 2024 a good year if you think about things too much i promise it's just not good you're going to be just thinking about everything instead of actually doing things in your year i know it's easier said than done but try your best and those are my top 10 tips for 2024 how i'm going to have the best year and how hopefully you guys have got inspiration to make your year better comment down below if there's any other things you do to have a good time and be productive in the new year yeah help each other out in the comments below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and have a great rest of your day see you in my next video bye guys